I'm Mike Stout, owner and trainer, or one of the owner and trainers at Uncommon Athlete. We're currently getting ready to prepare to open our doors at uh, 1205 First Avenue, Suite 103 in Uptown Columbus. We're a, a training, functional fitness training facility that basically offers functional fitness to everyone. We're here to, to provide a, a, a new, look, new look at fitness, an unconventional and conventional approach that applies to every single person. We have clients from the age of 16 all the way to the age of 65. We try to provide a functional fitness program for everyone. A little bit about myself and the other two owners. The other owners are Josh Pence, who just retired from the from the Army after 20 years of service, and Dennis Smith, who just retired from the Army after 26 years of service. I sir also served in the Army and retired six months ago after 23 years of service. Uh, some of the challenges that we've we've faced uh, through this entire process was one really getting, uh, after being in the military for 20 years, learning how to approach it in a, in a, uh, in a different perspective. In other words, how, how to tackle every aspect of the business and using the resources that are available in Columbus and through two small businesses throughout, throughout, which include you know, the Chamber of Commerce, other small business owners, uh, and city, city, city uh, employees, and other, I, I think the biggest help for us was other small business owners, especially in Uptown Columbus, who helped us get it, get on the feet. Also, the Uptown Columbus, uh, they also, they were a great asset. They helped us, Mr. Bishop uh, and Elizabeth. They really, really helped us get under our feet and helped us look at the property and helped us figure out exactly what we needed to do to get it, get it started. Some of the advice that I have for other small business owners is that do your homework first. Be prepared for the unexpected because it's gonna happen. Just like they say about Murphy's Law, it's gonna happen. Establish a good timeline, but be very flexible in that timeline because you're gonna run into walls, but don't get frustrated. Work around the walls. Use those resources that I mentioned to get through those, those uh, obstacles because you can do it and stay positive and it will come to, it will come, your dream will happen. I think uh, the proudest moment was probably uh, yesterday. Yesterday, myself and the other two owners and trainers, we sat back and we looked at what we developed as we get ready to open our doors, and we said, we saw our name, the Uncommon Athlete, the logo and the name on the window, and we said, we did it. This all started with a, with a dream and a plan, and even though through all the hurdles and problems, we finally established our goal and we met our dream and we're getting ready to open up now. We want to have a, a happy clientele. We, we're here as a customer service oriented business, uh, and what we want to do is develop uncommon athletes out of the ordinary person who comes in the door the first time and says, I don't think I can do that. We want every person to know that they can do what they think is the impossible. They can become the uncommon athlete through the programs that we provide, through the teamwork, through the camaraderie, and through the can-do attitude and motivation that we're gonna provide. So in five years, I wanna have a clientele that is uncommon and that is fit and healthy and happy.